<coughs> itu oh la la beep, beep, boop, boop. Beep, beep. <laughs> Oh well, God. welcome to the next episode. The next of PJ's World Podcast. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see if uh, we just had some technical difficulties. Sure did. And we're working through them. Trying at this moment. Right now. Yeah, right now. Just hoping that it doesn't. Um, as usual, we will get into the first sponsor. Mm-hmm. I got it on. That's famous. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had it on. That's your son's brand. So for those of you looking, uh, watching the video, mm. I screwed up. Big time. It's famous. That's Jordan's brand. Are you on the sun? Not, not, not uh, the sponsor. I thought it was goatees. Not the goat. So if you like a shirt with a goat on it, not with the crown on it, with famous written under it. Greatest of all time. Then, if you pardon my French. Didn't they say Lil Wayne is a goat? Of? Of music. Well, he's, he's, he's a goat of um, being that person that looks like he's always just got finished skating. No, that's not what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Lil Wayne is very talented. Yeah, he's a talented human being. Yeah. I always dream about sleeping with him for some reason. I'm not, like, attracted to him. But I've had, like, three dreams. You know, we're talking about our sponsor right now who happens to be Goat Tees. Oh, yeah. Greatest of all time. But I was yeah. thinking about a goat. But it's a shirt. Uh, a shirt, yeah. Do you think about a goat with a shirt on it? With a head. A, t -shirt, a, goat, a shirt with a goat on it? A goat head. With somebody wearing it. Mm. And it looks almost like what I have on, except nothing like this. Yeah. So, goatees.myevolution.com. All right. Let's get this show started. We're going to get the show started. We do have to talk about... Um, we have a lot of things to talk about. We do have to talk about one thing that's um, important. What is it? That's our merch. Right now? Yeah, you forgot about our merch? I didn't forget about it. I have it on. It. Now, I have it on. Okay, she has it on. Superior Losers. Come this way a little bit. Yep, Superior Losers. Loser merch, if you want to get it. It's on Teespring. Um, just go to the Freaking Genius Line clothing page. As usual, as always, the link is in... The description. It is. And so go down there and cop it, along with our social media and our other pages. Along yep. With um, contact information, email, that kind of thing. So, are you ready to get on with the show? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to. It's a good one. All right, let's go. And here we go again. So. 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 Whoop. This is episode 19. 19? It's year 19. Year number 19. Yeah. Year number Did 19. you learn something? Episode number 19. Yeah. Did I learn something? Did you learn something about your wife uh, that you didn't know? I never learned. In year number 18. But I never learned. That may be true. Yeah. What would you say is mm -hmm. the key to having a successful marriage for 19 years? That sounds like a boring topic. No, just answer the damn question. I mean... I what is the key? All right. Being submissive to your wife. All right, here we go. <laughs> For everybody that wants to know, this is the key. <laughs> what is it? To having a successful marriage. What? It's a skeleton. In the closet. No, a skeleton key. You get on my nerves. No, I, like oh, a lot. No, I'm serious. It's a skeleton key. Would well, like what, me to what explain? does? Yes, Would you explain. Like me to explain. Explain it. All right. Skeleton keys are old, mm -hmm. and they're used to open older locks that didn't have many combinations. Wait, where is this going? I'm trying to tell you. If you say something about me being old, I didn't say anything about you being old. I'm a smash. I said head nothing wide about you being old. Okay, you keep talking. Yeah, okay. go ahead. 
Well, it opens um, a lot of locks because it doesn't have that many combinations. You with me? Go ahead. That's the answer. You have to be versatile, flexible. You got to be able to bend over backwards, <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family show, Renee. Oh, do? Lord. Have mercy. I mean, I don't know if it's a family show or not. Well, our anniversary was amazing. Yeah. So, um, those of you that don't know, we have November, December is a little busy for us. A lot, lot. We have anniversary. Yeah. Then we have Renee's birthday. My birthday. And then we have we also have Thanksgiving in there. We have uh, Akira, sister's Akira's birthday, birthday, and Christmas. And Christmas. And we also have um, events that we are... Yeah, photography events. But, photography you know, events. And it gets time. really crazy because of the holidays and yeah. like life stuff. Last minute people people talking about, hey, you want to do this? Can you do this? And of Can course, like, that if that the money's part? good, we're just like, mm-hmm. Got one today at 7. Yeah. So we're cutting this Exciting. one a little close. <laughs> Exciting, Cut exciting. Because I still need Cut to take a nap. Close. So, so here's 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 the biggest thing, though. What is it? This is the biggest thing. What? I need you guys to understand that I'm in my thirties. I'm very young. That's all I'm gonna say. She just had a birthday. <laughs> I'm in my thirties. I'm very young. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Let I'm me not, tell I'm you not, something. No, no, no. What I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say that anybody's robbing the cradle. No, what I'm no, saying I'm not is, gonna say that. ladies, for those of you who are out seeking and, you know, you always thought, I don't want a younger man. You get a younger man so that mm -hmm. you can train him the way you want <laughs> yeah, him to Yeah, how's that work out for you? <laughs> Very well. Oh, yeah. It worked out well. Oh, you know what? I think I think um, she she enjoys opposites. What is that? Because she thinks it worked. She she likes for me to be disobedient. That's what she likes. He's not disobedient. She Don't let him fool you. She likes disobedience. She says, jump. I say, poop. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Uh, no. Anyway, well, so um, he, our drops anniversary. Drops. You know drops. Jump. Yeah, I know. I yeah. get it. You said you didn't. I I was being sarcastic. Okay. See? Exactly. See what I'm talking about? There it is right there. It's right there. Right to that. Anyway. Our anniversary was um, Not last too long month, ago. and you, I must say, did a spectacular job. Like, what do you mean I did a spectacular job? Well, like you. That makes no sense because it's our anniversary. Yeah, but you so always be a hater. We're both responsible for it. No, what? that's not. What? That's not what we what used to do. This about? year's the first year that we did what we did. Well, obviously, because it's a new year. Last year, you put it. Last anyway, see, you are really working my nerves already, and we are not even like 10 minutes in this show, and you making me want to smack the shit out of you. Already? Already! Hey, that's a record. I that's swear to God, my blood boiling. Your blood is boiling? Okay, explain it. Why is your blood boiling? I don't even get it. What what happened? You. Okay, you but happened. What, but what did I do? I don't understand. You do these little stupid, corny jokes about what you joke being in your 30. Oh, you're talking about that? Your 30s. You're talking about that? Yeah. Hey, I said one little thing, and that's no, what it's blood one that. You just like, did you get it? Did you get it? No. That was something no, else. No, that was no, a different thing. No, that what was another thing. About? So that was another layer. Yeah, but you have to get it. The layer, the layers come quick. You got to be able to roll. Listen, roll come on. Because you, this show going to end real fast. Where are we going? We're going to, because um, I'm done talking about our anniversary since, you know, that was nothing. Um, that doesn't make sense. Well. You know, this reminds me of um, uh, that thing you were watching last night. What was I watching last night? The husband and wife arguing. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, we don't argue in real life. <laughs> oh, we argue. Like, Who? this thing get ugly. Who? Me and you. Nah, I win. Uh-huh. Yeah, so it's really not an argument. I mean, I kind of let you feel like you're winning sometimes, but that's just a bruise. But well, I appreciate that. Yeah, you're a little bruising. So, we had anniversary. We had we spent the whole day together. And we didn't kill each other. We did not kill each other. Didn't even try to kill each other. We didn't, didn't even, even argue. argue. 
We usually argue on our anniversary. Oh, it gets real ugly on our anniversary. We usually argue about something stupid. Yeah. But we didn't this time, so nope. it was great. 19 years is maturing us. Maturing. Well, Mature. I, look. Ma oh, 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 no. no, 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 no. stop talking over no, me. No, but I have a bonus. No, point. do not talk over me. Okay, but I have a bonus. Let point. me just say what I was about to okay, say. Okay, well, but can I say this? No. Thing? No, it's, you cannot say it. It's a bone. I don't give a, bury it. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm about to bring it back, though. Oh, you can bring it back after okay. I say wait, what wait, I got to say. Wait, what are you talking about? I was about to say... About the anniversary? A statement that Will okay. Smith made oh, this when is, he said this that... Is bound to be bad. <laughs> he said that mm -hmm. um, he and Jada was having problems when they were, like, when they were married for, like, 17 or 18 years. Yeah. And they went to go talk to someone. Yeah. And they said that you don't even know a person when you've been with them for like 18 years or 17 years. What? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Like, they're different layers. Like, people grow, people change. You don't the know years. them? Like, you know them, but you don't know them, know them. No. Like, you don't know I, No, I think I know you more than I did before. You do? Yeah. What? That's stupid. That's dumb. Who said that? Oh, wait, Will Smith. No, he said that the the, the lady. The that therapist he, said that. Oh, well, he didn't so. say that it was a therapist. He said oh, they the went person. to go see a oh, person. Okay. Yeah, that's dumb. Okay. How are you gonna know someone less? What? How are you gonna know someone less when you've been with them longer? Yeah, I I get what he's saying though. No. Like, like you only know what I want you to know. Yes, that's true. But that's with anyone. But that's like, but that's when. <laughs> I can see what he's talking about, though. No. Because there's other... Are you going to disagree with everything I say no. today? No, okay. but Because okay, every time I say something, before I can even get it out, you're saying no. But this isn't even you. This is Will Smith. No, but I'm saying I'm giving my thought on it. Okay, go ahead. And no, I don't want to give it. Go ahead on and say your... Uh, unbury your bone. <sighs> it's going to be this kind of day. This is my favorite kind, guys. My favorite kind of day. No, because you're not getting makeup sex or anything. No, that's not why it's my favorite kind of day. Why? I just like antagonistic days. You know? mm -hmm. So, so you're saying? No, I'm not even talking about that anymore. Where's the bone? Okay. Bear, unbury the bone. Okay. Unbury it. So the bone has to do with. Too bad. So say it. <laughs> so you're saying that. Somebody can be with somebody, and the longer they're with somebody, because they're growing, that they know less and less about them? No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is there are other things that, like, there are certain things, like, that you knew, you didn't know about me when we were married for five years that you know about me in ten. Because, like, as the years go on you are more open to that person and you, like, trust them with your feelings and all that stuff. So, you know, it's, it's easier to hold on to things and give it to them a little bit at a time rather than, the, like, tell your whole life story at once. Yeah, that's the opposite of what Will Smith's person said. But I don't know. Well, you know, maybe because they are in a different situation than us like yeah. they work a lot they're so you know they're, out in the so world they're and, saying that they are growing apart as they live no i was saying that they were in a bad he said that they were in a black a bad situation and the lady said that they didn't know who they were or what they were or whatever um at the years that they were at like it was so much more that they could learn from each other than yeah. you know focusing on what they don't know or what they do know or something. Like continuously get to know your partner throughout. That's why we think that dating is very important yeah, so that idiots. we can get outside so, of wait, the house. They're idiots. Yeah, but you know, a lot of times people have money and they just like. But that's common sense, isn't it? I guess. I mean, it's common sense for us, but who knows? But to me, that's common sense. If you, if you, if you are in a relationship with some someone, you want to make the relationship. Uh, you want to make it better. You got to get to know the person more. That's true. That's how I feel. Okay, so where's the bone? Hmm. 
Um, I forgot about the bow now. That figures. Yeah. It was a good one, though. Yeah, I'm sure. So, um, all right, so that's anniversary, right? The next thing was Thanksgiving. How was your Thanksgiving? Well. Trick question. I know because I was there. <laughs> Thanksgiving was actually great until I got a um, cold sore because you guys stressed me the hell out. Who? You and your family. It wasn't me. Yep, you and your kids. No, you know the damn no, sweet no. potatoes. Oh, yeah. About the yams. All right, so here's the story. Tell the story. All right, so as y'all know, I am a chef. And I really, really enjoy cooking for my family and friends. So we really didn't, we didn't invite anyone over besides Ani Lewis. Um, so I didn't like, to, this year was the first time that we did traditional, traditional. Like it was just traditional Thanksgiving meal. Yeah, we had like turkey and stuffing. Yeah. Well, it was dressing this time. It was pure dressing. It wasn't stuffing this time. Um, what else? But when you have stuffing, that means it's stuffed in something. Yeah. So we didn't, we, um... We didn't have a stuffer. <laughs> because they were frozen. Um... In the freezer. We're probably else? gonna have them for Christmas, though. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'll buy deep fried turkey or deep something. Deep fried turkey. Anyway, so, um, we, um, so, you know, like, Wednesday, I prepped a lot of things, and then yeah. Thursday... I decided that, um, you know, I got up that morning and I started cooking, but I had cooked sweet potato pies and stuff. And I was like, I don't know, Lil Pete, can you run to the store? Lil Pete was here. So um, he went to the store and got some sweet potatoes. I said four, he only bought two. So with our family and as much as they eat, I was just like, it's just two, it's not gonna be enough. So I decided not to make the two yams. You didn't tell the whole story. There was a prelude to that. What? What happened at the beginning? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the important I part. said, I said, guys, I was like, we don't have sweet potatoes because I use them all for the, um, for the pies. And I was like, do y'all want some sweet potatoes? And they was like, yeah. And then, so that's when... OP ended up going to the store the next morning. Because we said... Because they said they did want the sweet potatoes. Yeah, but, but mind because, you but that... No, but why did we say we wanted them? Because you said the sweet potatoes and sweet potato pies are different. That's right. So anyway, so mind you, I was the only one cooking. PJ was chilling like oh, he oh, always oh, oh, did. Oh. Why were you the only one cooking? Though? PJ... Tell that story. <laughs> See, she likes to tell half stories that, that things are hers. She likes to tell the whole story. Let me tell y'all something. Okay, Have you so. guys ever heard of this uh, movie, <laughs> Drive Angry? Well, this was cooking mad. <laughs> All right, so what happened was Jordan always make the sweet the um, pecan pies every year since he was um, probably eight or nine years old. Um, I think it's very important to teach your child or children how to cook mm -hmm. um, so on, that if they do or don't have a wife um, or a husband, then, you know, of course they can, you know, survive on their own. So during the holidays and, you know, regular um, times, Jordan, um, I would, you know, they would tell me what they want to cook and I would get the ingredients and we would cook together or whatever. So uh -huh. Jordan find um, interest in doing. Good Lord, okay. Jordan was cooking the pecan pies. What else? Anybody else? <laughs> Can I just for? Um, this is so long. Jordan cooked the sweet potato pies. I mean no, the uh, pecan see, pies. See? And Kira was supposed to cook a cake, but neither one of them did it on Wednesday, and I wanted to be in the kitchen by myself on Thursday. So I ended up cooking the pie and the cake on yeah, Thursday. She, she cussed them out, told them to get out of her kitchen, never come back, and she just cooked all the stuff. I did. And what happened? What was the outcome? Well, my pie was not so good. <laughs> you know why they... You Nobody know, ate you know my they pie. Said, they were like, you know how you're supposed to uh, cook with love and add love into it? Well, she was cooking with anger. <laughs> and they said the anger came out of my pies. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, she was cooking angry. You know, so, all right, so... So this plays into the sweet potato thing. So I'm anyway, so... Um, we get to the table and all the food's on the table and then 
you know, they're passing the food around and stuff, and they're just like, what is it? What is sweet potatoes? And I was like, well, I decided not to cook them. And then... The whole house erupted. It begins. The whole house. So they stressed me out. So I ended up getting a um, cold yeah. sore. So if anybody hears this story, they understand that we didn't stress her out. She stressed herself out. No, first they were talking about my pecan pies. Uh-huh. No, first they were talking about the yams. And then they were talking about the pecan pies. And then the cake. So but it was the your, cake was actually was, good. The pecan was, pie was good. It just wasn't as good. thick. But as it, it was you. Yeah. Because you were cooking angry. <laughs> that was started all off. Yeah, whatever. So, um, <laughs> that's why I was stressed out. Because my family. No, no, so, no, no, not the family. No. So, anyway, so <laughs> for Christmas, yeah. um, I really don't give a damn what they eat. Because I'm not cooking. So here's the thing. We had this discussion, too, about it. And I was like, Christmas, like, meal is not really a thing to me. But I, that's not true. I mean, we do it. But, I mean, I, it's not, when I think about Christmas, I don't look for it. Look, when you think of Thanksgiving, you think about the meal. You think about Easter, you think about the meal. When you think about Christmas, nobody thinks about Christmas dinner. What do you think about? You think about gifts under the tree. No, because it's only so long that the gifts, after you open the gifts, there's nothing else to do besides eat. Yeah. You can so eat, you but can it say, be, Yeah, but it doesn't have to be Christmas no, dinner. Okay. You can just eat. Well, we'll see how this works. I'm going to record a whole day of Christmas and show you how black people really get angry, especially this Negro right here, how angry he is going to be because he's not going to have the food that he expects. Watch. The food that I expect. Watch and learn. Okay. You know what? I hope y'all tune into that because it's not going to be a thing. As long as I have food that I like, I'm fine. Well, what? who is going to cook the food? I'm we not have plenty of food. I can cook the food I like. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we'll see about that. I don't understand. You're talking the, a big oh, game, oh, oh. but you know that you what will do it. What is this big game that you're talking about? You're talking, oh, babe, you go hours and hours and hours of being hungry, and there's food downstairs, and you're too lazy to go downstairs and fix it. Yes, but when I'm ready to fix it, I'll fix it. Okay. Okay. I mean, what I'm saying the, is... And the thing is, there's a difference between, like, when there's food downstairs, and then when I'm here, and mm -hmm. you want me to cook. Yes. And, and you're going to expect the dinner to be ready. You and your no. kids. The kids probably. You too. No, I don't think so. Okay. Because, I, like I said, Christmas dinner is not a thing to me. Okay, I know we, you tell them the lie, but it. okay. Okay, because we had Chinese for a few Christmas dinners. What are you talking about? Okay. I mean, I can just order Chinese. Well, order the Chinese then. I mean, I'm not, okay. So what you're getting all angry about I'm not angry. is not even a thing because I'm not being antagonistic and I'm not being thing I'm all I'm saying is What are you saying? To me, Christmas dinner is not Okay. Thanksgiving. You already said that. Yeah, Thanksgiving. So dinner. what point are you trying to make now? Because you because already you're said that. You're not taking that. the right point. I don't care about your point. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You're just taking whatever thing you want to take out to make yourself angry. It's like you like to be angry. You don't care about the point. You just find I something in it. I don't care about your yeah, point. Yeah, you find something in it to make yourself angry. <laughs> and that makes you happy. And you talk about me. <laughs> you like to be angry. That's why you're cooking angry. You're probably enjoying yourself. You use up in there, oh, these chips. <laughs> Kill, kill, die, die. Well, he's probably poisoned the food. That's probably why I had Stab him in the neck. That's why I wasn't dying. Nobody died. I did. Well, why are you here now? I obviously came back to life. Well, who brought you back? It's PJ's world. Mm hmm. I think you keep forgetting that. That's an important part. Anyway. All right, so that was Thanksgiving. All right. So then came. Then we had the, the 50th. Day. Um, and a, um, oh, the, event? the party, the event. Yeah, yeah, they don't Which care. was really fun. In what way? But tiring. How was it fun? Because we never... I mean, besides doing the photos and stuff, that was fun. Yeah, that was but, fun. But I mean, the event wasn't fun. I thought it was. It was we, were, we were part of the furniture. Yeah? Yeah. 
So you can't have fun when you're part of the furniture. Say it's the man who. When you're the uh, when you're um, you're 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 part of the you, you disappear into the background. Right. Yeah. You know what I've never understood is, is like that? when you're at an event and you're working and yeah. the people ask you if you want food. Yeah. Like I know you're supposed to say no. Who said that? Well. You're not I supposed would never to say no. Right. <laughs> I would always say yes. Yeah. I've never said no. Like, Who says can just, that? Can you even just make me a pl It's not professional. Oh, it's professional to me. Uh -huh. I always say yes. Why would I not want to? No, no, no. Okay, I take that back. I don't always say yes. I only say yes if I look at the food and I think I want to eat it. If, I, if that food is disgusting, you better believe it's going to be a no. I mean, like, no. It's disgusting looking. I mean, I don't say that, but I'd be like, no, no, thank, no, thank you. I'm working. I don't eat when I work. And then they say, can I fix your plate to go? No, no, no. Then they say, wait a minute, and get their phone and they pull up a YouTube, um, a YouTube, uh, a video showing me eating while I'm working. <laughs> and I think that was old me. This is the new me, 2019. See what I'm saying? Whatever. Whatever flows your boat. You have an answer for everything. You do. What are you doing? Oh. Stop kicking my thing. Sorry, guys. I got a little sidetracked by the side. So um, the event, though, went well. We, we, we delivered the, the product. And they really loved it. Yep, they did. And we were just talking about uh, an event we did a couple years ago where um, we um, we delivered the product and they didn't like it. <laughs> well, nope. they liked the photos. They didn't they like liked the video. The, they didn't like the music, right? They didn't like the music on the video. And, yeah. And I composed it for that video and... Um, you know, I was like... They wanted that traditional. They wanted it like everybody else's. And PJ you was know, trying to special. be outside of the belt make box to be us. custom and... Um, but they wanted a they wanted cookie a, cutter yeah. video. But you have to reach the customer yeah, to where they to, are. You do it for the customer. But yeah. I, you know, I didn't enjoy doing the cookie cutter thing. You know, I was like... Oh. Because he's creative. Well, I mean, any... <laughs> 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 she just did the air quotes. <laughs> <laughs> anybody that anybody that does, you know, you, when you come up with a new concept and you're like, why does somebody want the same thing that everyone else has? You want something that's unique. That's because everyone else have it. Yeah, but people want cookie. Like, cookie we would cookie. want different things because yeah. we're different. But everybody's yeah. not like that. You so you be. just have to meet them where they are. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I, I, I come was, out of PJ's world. I was, I was, uh, I was creating angry on that one. <laughs> I've made it. I've made it the same boring stuff, but. Um, and then they loved it. No, well, they loved it. Yes. But you didn't. No, and the other people didn't either. Whatever. But the customer loved it, so I guess the client loved it. All that matters. That's all. So. So. Yeah, so that, that brought us to that. So after the event, we... Uh, what did we do? Oh, came home, went to sleep, right? Yeah, it was like 1 o'clock. It was after, it was late. And we started really at late. one thirty p.m. Day. Yeah. And it was over like 1. Yeah. Like, right, you always time for me to take a nap. But she's not going to be able to... I have to take naps. I don't know You're what... You're not going to be able to take a nap. I got to. Look what time it is. Uh, it's 4.30. And you know what time we got to be there? Mm -hmm. You know how long it takes to get there? Like 45 minutes. Yeah. 45 minutes. And you don't even know what you want stuff. to wear. Yes, I do. You don't even know. Uh, you have to take a shower. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what you want to wear. For real, you're going to put it on and it's not going to look right. And you're going to have to change. <laughs> That's how it goes. I know, I know, oh, I know, I know the game. So, then we got to your B-Day. Wow. How did your B-Day go? My B-Day, my birthday was amazing um, from start to actually finish. From start to actually finish. And um, 
I don't know how this happened, but thank you losers, all of you who sent me uh, birthday wishes. Oh, I yeah, really appreciate it. I don't know how y'all knew, but I do appreciate it. PJ, it could have, he... We probably said it somewhere. At some but point. it was we awesome. It, it was it, it was a lot of fun. And you losers jumped on it. And um, like we celebrated, and they had a surprise party for me. Well, I'll say a surprise get together with um some of my closest friends uh, on Wednesday night. So yeah, and again, you remember to... you remember the surprise when we surprised her with the Fantasia tickets, and she kept wanting to buy Fantasia <laughs> tickets, and we were trying to stop her from buying the Fantasia. It was the same thing. She was just calling everybody, talking about, "All right, guys, I'm getting the Airbnb." Because <laughs> it was on a it was on a Wednesday. My birthday was on a Wednesday, and nobody, and nobody does anything on a Wednesday. But she was like, she was calling everybody, talking about, "All right, where are we going? We got to go out." Uh, we gotta go out, get something to eat, and all that kind of stuff. And we like, yeah, I thought that we was gonna uh, go and because we I just like okay. So here's the thing about my birthday, and and I do hope that everybody do understand. And I don't well, I don't even care if you understand because it's my birthday. Um, my birthday. I, no one can give you the expectations that's in your head for your birthday. So. You have to vocally say, tell everybody what you want. Because in your head, you go, oh, I want to wake up with some roses. And I want to do this. And then I want to do that. And if you have all that in your head, and that's your expectation, you're going to be highly disappointed. So, because I have always thought, oh, we've been married for 18 years, 19 years. Then I've been with him for 20 years. He knows me. He knows what I want. He knows my expectation. And that's not realistic yeah, that's a mistake that's crazy you cannot think that your spouse or your family knows what you want I know so you, you know. have to tell them so on my birthday i told pj i was like listen i don't i want a day uh, i want to pa be pampered i want a day i want to go to the spa yeah. you know i just don't I want and i said i want a massage like those are the things that i said i didn't say and i said don't plan a lot of stuff on my birthday because like I want to do what I want to do, which was if I want to get up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, that's what I wanted to do. And so um, I woke up when I wanted to and um, I, I went back to sleep. And <laughs> I mean, I think that you deserve to on your day to do what you want to do and your family to be OK with it. They got to be. Because. That's what you want. But if you don't relay that to them, then you get the whole expectation of, we got to cater to her all day and try to figure out when your family is trying their best to cater to you. Or not. Or not. <laughs> but they're trying their best to cater to you. You you have to... Will you stop? Will you stop? I'm being rare. I'm giving these ladies and gentlemen some really good advice. And you're being rude. My apologies. <laughs> My apologies, everyone. Anyway, and that girl punched you. <laughs> but my, I know I'm long-winded. So just tell your family and friends what you it is that with you the want. SAT words. What? Oh, that just jumped y'all. Cause see, she be abusing. <laughs> That's how you know. Cause I'm, oh, it's coming. Oh gosh. Anyway, so um. <laughs> So then um, last night, me and some friends went out and had a good time at the bar. I was the DD, the double D. Yeah, he was, and it was pretty amazing. I, almost I didn't fell get asleep, drunk, though. though. I almost fell asleep. But I texted them to make sure, like, after almost 1 o'clock, I was like, are you asleep? And then I was like, I think we better get up. <laughs> I think we better get ready to go. So it was a great night. We had a really good time, dance, party. I did realize that I do need to lose weight because I can't dance the way I used to. And my spank to me, my butt not be able to move. Not that my butt really move anyway, but I felt like like the spank uh, was holding me back. I don't, you know, I was thinking about this. What? I don't know if it's uh, the lose weight thing. <laughs> All I'm going to say is... What do you at, think it is? I'm in my 30s. That's all I'm gonna I think that's why I hope anger against you right now because you just keep saying Because I'm in my thirties, and you're jealous. I'm not jealous of you're you. You're jealous of how young 
Is that what it is? I know what I married or who I married. You did. You did. Well, I think I might have tricked you a little bit. I think you did trick me. <laughs> you thought I was uh, not crazy. Turns out I'm very crazy. Certified. Certified. Craziness. Crazy. Anyway, so um, last night was great. Yeah. So. And afterwards, all my friends came out and like messed with PJ to the fullest. Oh, uh, they were sitting <laughs> on the car. They they like I tried to lock, but the the door. <laughs> It was funny. I just found out that you cannot lock the doors if a door is open. I, I never knew that. Never. I guess never had a reason to try to lock the door when the door was open. But the entire time it came out, I was like, lock, 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 and nothing was happening. So then they came around and just tore my door open. And oh. <laughs> Women and alcohol don't go together. Yeah, we do. Women, alcohol, and then me. A sober uh, me. <laughs> Not good. Sitting on my car. Taking pictures. Like kneeling down in front of the car so I can't even see him. <laughs> like who does that? Oh guys. Shout out to my girls. Love y'all. Issues, straight yeah, I, up. I know. Um, it was in my head. So, like, how do you feel about having anniversary, birthdays, Christmas? Well, I tell a lot of people. Um, if you, it is if, a lot. When you get married, even though it may be easier for people to get around, do not get married around the holidays. <laughs> Any holiday. Because it just makes celebrating it that much harder. Especially once you have kids and stuff. <laughs> And you want to do the, you know, something. Yeah, it is true. You got to leave them or whatever. Because sometimes, like, our anniversary literally lands on Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's terrible. And, like, you have to make a decision. Are you going to go and travel with your spouse? Or are you going to stay home, you know, with the kids? Yeah, just have it out in the middle them. when nobody, no one, nothing else is there. And then you can just have at it. But well, that here, was the reason that I, I had, I chose the date. Well, it was because it was a, it was the weekend after Thanksgiving, and all of our family was going to be there. Yeah. So and I can travel, and I'm sure, other. like, yeah. Well, I'm saying for the wedding, it makes it easier, but for the not wedding, right? After, after the wedding, and and the wedding's one day. The rest of your life is the rest of your life. So, so like, just choose your yeah, dates choose it carefully, <laughs> choose and don't just go because a place is open on a certain day. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but. Like the courthouse. Just go there. Are you serious? Just go in there and say, yep. Sign that paper and go home. So you when you mean? say you didn't enjoy our wedding? No, I didn't enjoy our wedding. Well, I mean, Not at all. No. What What about it would I enjoy? Wait, what would I enjoy? The only part that's okay is when I said I do. Well, we could have done that literally at the courthouse too. You cannot. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to even get mad because that was 19 years ago. Yeah. And I'm just going to keep those thoughts to myself. What, what thoughts? Because you're a dream killer. Hey, my second album. Dream I killer. know. And it's right word. It is. Why do you think I chose it? <sighs> you think I chose it just because it doesn't? Uh, anyway, I don't even want to talk about it. Wait a minute. Wait, how is that a, you how like is that irritated dream, how, me no, so bad. How is that dream killing? And because that was like here's years the thing. Ago. Yeah, it was 19 years ago, but like here's the thing. Yeah. And we are supposed to renew our vows or like have a real like we had a real wedding. Don't get me wrong. However, like I was pregnant with little P, so I want like the whole like cute little wedding, cute little dance with my boys or. You know, the whole little wedding thing. And I don't feel good about doing that again if you already talking about you hate weddings. Okay. So, are you under the illusion that most men... You do understand that most men do not like the wedding and the wedding is for the woman, not for the man. No. Yes. That's what it is. The wedding, 99% I of the I think time, that you don't like it because you're not in control of it. No, I don't like it because it's a ceremony, and I cannot stand ceremonies. 
Okay. I feel like that okay did not mean okay. It meant exactly what it was. So okay. you think that men enjoy weddings? I think that men enjoy things that they women, that their wife enjoys. No, no, no. Men do it because their wife enjoys it. So the men, Why do you think there's wait, a bridezilla and not a groomzilla? Well, because first of all, the men really don't plan anything. Yes, exactly. But then because the second care. thing is, do you really think that, okay, so when a man is crying when a woman walks down the aisle, what is that? That's not enjoying the fact that their wife is walking down the aisle to yeah, him. Yeah, he would, if that man cried when the wife walked down the aisle, he would also cry when she, at the courthouse. Is no, what he I'm saying. no yeah. he would not. Absolutely not. Because <laughs> first of, why would you, you because first, the there, it's not crying. the same thing. How, how, because when you're at the courthouse, yeah. you're standing in front of somebody. Yes. The freaking woman is not walking down the aisle. Okay, that's technicality. Okay, well tell me how he would cry. He would cry because he's getting married to her. That's why he's crying. He's crying uh -huh. because he's like, my dream is coming true. I'm about to marry this woman. So you but, think that you telling me that a regular person who is going to get married in the church, mm -hmm. he would have the same exact emotions as standing beside his wife getting married in the courthouse. Yes. False. How is that? You're thinking like a woman. You're not thinking like a man. False. Because you're thinking like a woman. False. I mean, it's absolutely true. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what, losers. If there are men out there that feel like that they would that they would prefer a wedding instead of just going to the courthouse, for themselves, not for their wife or for their family or for their mother who wants to see a wedding or something, but for themselves. They would prefer to have a wedding than just go to the courthouse and get married and start their life with a woman right away with their beloved right away instead of have to wait for this date and all that kind of stuff and plan and spend all this money and all that kind of stuff instead you can just go and start your life with a woman and then the honeymoon could be bombed because then you can spend all that money on the honeymoon you can sail around the world without yeah. crying without crying why is it necessary to cry i'm not saying it's necessary to cry but you're saying, saying they won't things. cry nope Okay, that is false. I don't believe it. I know you don't. Because what is it? Okay, so so what you're saying then is not the fact that they're marrying the woman that gives them the emotion. It's all the pomp and circumstance. That means that... No. No, that means that... No, that's their not what marriage, I'm saying. That's their marriage not what I'm is saying probably then. doomed to failure if they don't fix There's something. There's a possibility. Because all they care about is the pomp and circumstance and not the woman. I don't, I'm not saying that. That's No, that's what you're saying. But I think that, that seeing means. your wife or your soon-to-be wife yeah. walking down the aisle with her father or her brother yeah. or... What the heck does the aisle signify? That means nothing. Or by herself. But the aisle means Her being nothing. as beautiful as the like she's ever been in Why your eyes. She be because, uh, like... I see. I see. Because you're still thinking like a woman. Oh, Okay. Because the wedding dress and all that kind of stuff is a woman. Is a woman's thing. It's a, what a woman thinks is beautiful. And not, remember, I tell you all the time that women dress and get cute or whatever for other women. The things that the man would rather see you in is I not. I don't the, agree with that though. I don't agree is. with that statement right there. The things that because men like when would I get dressed, I'm not getting dressed for a woman. I'm getting dressed and hope that it look good on my body, not. To look like, oh, I can't wait for this for yes. the girls to be like, oh, no, that's no, 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 so no. cute. Okay, no, but, I mean, that, but other people do. But even with you, if you're like, if you, because you say it all the time, what I prefer you in, you want to get dressy upper than what I prefer you in. Yeah. And you say it, and and then you feel better about yourself when you're in that. So that's what I'm saying. You don't you don't dress. You when you're dressing like, dressing up when you think you look your best is not for what. The men think you look better in is what you think you look better in, which is fine. But that's what I'm saying. It's not for the men. It's for the woman. So when you're talking about, oh, I'm in my wedding dress and I'm so beautiful with all this makeup on and blah, blah, blah. That's what you think is better. But I've told you a bunch of times, I think you look better without makeup than with makeup. But yet, 
you still like to put on a whole bunch of makeup because you feel better. A whole wait, 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 wait. Last night was the first time that I wore makeup in like a year. I'm not talking about that. That's not what I'm saying. What are you? Are you just forget? See, there again, you did not even yeah. listen to the point. <sighs> The point, I don't like you today. The point is... I don't like you today. That's the point. Yeah. Just wait till the losers chime in. You'll see. <laughs> You'll see. Help me. Yeah. Just be delusional. You talk about me as a dream. You know what's delusional? Yeah. You and your stupid little magician jokes or whatever. Magician jokes. Your magician... Look at it. It's gone. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to work Pick the hand. Choose the hand. Watch this. Somebody oh, the how did it get there? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, but when the real magician did it, you was liking it. But you're not the real magician. Yeah, exactly. God just started yesterday. Just wait. In about a year. I really hope that this face get over soon. Well, I'm not going to do it for you anymore. That makes me happy. Except whenever I need to. <laughs> That's what you signed up for. 19 years ago, you signed up. When I needed to test out my magic tricks, <laughs> you got to be the one that Thank you, gets tested. No, thank now, you. That's, hey, you already signed up the contract. The you signed on the dotted line. Let's tear that contract up. It's too late. It's in the heavens. It's not even a, it's not even on paper. It's it's a um, it's a spiritual contract. Mm -hmm. You can never take it back. So um, I heard you were planning on going to Hawaii in December. I am. Yeah, that's what I heard. With Bernie. She never gave me a date. Yeah, I, I looked at the tickets. The tickets are a thousand dollars a flight. So. What? Coming back at four? Yeah. Five hundred dollars? No, a thousand. Oh no, I can't do that. Yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's probably more now since it's closer. Mm -hmm. But I've thought about it. a lot of people. Like she paid a thousand dollars for a ticket? No, 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 no. She was saying, "Oh, I can't." <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's not going either. She might. It just depends. Shit. Because you know it's about... You know, yeah, I know. I know what it's about, but... Uh, no. Yeah, that's what she was like. She was like, oh, snap. No. So, okay. Okay, what? So, no Hawaii for you. No Hawaii for me. All right, what else? We had something else. What? I don't know. You ain't got on my nerves the whole time. This is exciting. Oh, oh, the email, the email. Oh, well, who is the email from and where and when did they send it and what did it say? All right, so this email is from one of our losers. Hello, Name. loser. Well, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Hello, loser. Name Brittany. Hello, loser Brittany. Loser Brittany, Sup Brittany loser. <laughs> Superior loser Brittany. Superior loser Brittany. S. S. L. Slitney. Slitney. What? What is the thing? Okay. I'm having a hot flash. All right, so the subject of the email is drinks at the bar. 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 A, A, A. Drinks at the bar. Drinks at the bar. She's okay. Keep on going. I'm I'm done. <laughs> drinks at the about, bar. Get to it. Get drinks to it. at the bar. Okay, what about what about drinks at the bar? What happened at the bar? Well, she has a question. Okay, what is the question? And it's aimed at at you. What for me? Yeah. What's it say? It says, "Why do men buy drinks for you at the bar? What do they expect to get? Do they expect to get sex just for buying you a five dollar drink?" Well, maybe that's for you because I'm not a man and I don't buy women drinks. No, it's for you. No, I think you should answer that. Well, how am I going to answer? Well, here's the thing. Um, for me, guys offer to buy drinks, but 
I'm a boss bitch. I don't need a man to buy me a drink, so I don't want a man to buy me a drink. If I want a drink, I'm going to buy it. That's why I'm there. Um, I think that men buy drinks to, you know, for the woman to say, hey, come over here and, like, talk to us or sit down. I don't, I don't know. But I don't, I don't want to drink from a guy. Well, I've never bought a drink for a woman, so I don't know. You haven't? No. Oh, well, I... Ever in my life. I think that's what it is. Is it because you've always been with me? Well, I mean, 19 years ago, you know, since I am in my 30s, that means I was very young. <laughs> So, I wasn't at, even at drinking age. Remember when we got married? That's true. So, no, never bought a, a drink for a woman. But I do think that, well, what, what, what do I you would. think the motive is, though? You are a man. You can tell us what you think the motive is. I mean, everything generally with a man and a, dealing with a woman has to do with sex. So, so you so. think that men that buy a t I mean, yeah, drinks. I don't know if they'll, they might not feel like if they buy the drink, they're automatically going to get sex. But I do feel like they feel like it's closer. Do you think that they think that, like, well, let, they'll think that the girl will call them over and talk to them? Yeah, but I, I don't, I think, I don't know, I guess there's two kind of people, guys that buy the drinks, right? Or the, the ones that buy the ones for the women that they have not had any contact or eye contact or anything with mm -hmm. and they're just sending it out there maybe they just send drinks all over the place and see if anything bites <laughs> or the ones that buy the drinks for somebody who they've been kind of looking at across the room and yeah like, you know maybe there's something there let me buy the drink and then when the drink gets there then you come over and introduce yourself or something you know, you know the weird thing um when we were out last night it's like an icebreaker um this guy was buying us drinks Oh, but you have a direct experience with but, this. I, but let me tell you what happened. So um, the server came over and was like, uh, because, you know, they it was the whole birthday thing the other day. And so it's the people celebrating birthdays. It was other birthdays? Yeah. Oh. And so um, people would celebrate birthdays. So, you know, um, they said happy birthday, blah, blah, blah. And then. Um, was Katie there? She came. She was there for a little bit, but she left. I talked to her for like an hour though. Um, anyway, not a little bit. <laughs> hour just a little bit. No. Anyway, so um, um, the guy who was sending the drinks, like before he sent the drink, we, the way he looked at us was really creepy. So what's a creepy look look like? Like. Like, he looked psycho a little bit. Like, like he wanted to it, put you in the back of his trunk? Yeah. <laughs> and cut us up. So, um, one of the, the girls that was with us was like, why does this guy keep staring at us? Yeah. And it was just like three of us at the table at the time. Yeah. So, then, you know, later they announced the birthdays and all that stuff. And then... Right, the three that were at the table, what are the first letters of their names? L... R M. That sounds like more than three. Well, I was thinking about it. Anyway, so <laughs> the people that was at the table. <laughs> and was it the M that was saying that? No. Oh, it wasn't the M. Okay. No. So the people that was at the because table. If that was the case, no. I'd have been like, nah. <laughs> no. So the people that was at the table, like, you know, brought it to my attention. I was like, okay, so first of all, like, at this point, I've only had two drinks. And I was like, you know, you know how I am, you know, without you being there, I feel like I, I have to be on guard. Because I'm not there. Well, I have to be on guard because, you know, I always feel like somebody's going to shoot the place up. Uh, so I have to be on what guard. Am I, what am I going to do if, if I'm there? Uh, you're my protector. I know, but if somebody's shooting the place up. You're going to make sure I get out. Oh, uh, okay. You know how, like, you <laughs> always. <laughs> I'm a water boy. I'm <laughs> You know how you always like sit with your back a certain way to the door oh, so and you watching and like uh, that thing. So now I'm on guard the whole time after she said that. Well then the drinks came and then more drinks came and then finally the Yeah, finally I was like, No. Like, tell that guy 
don't send any more drinks over here. Because so, how many drinks did he buy total? Probably a lot. I don't know, maybe like eight. But it was funny because like the drinks was like they would she would bring them and sit them on the table, and like people was like, "Who ordered this?" And then finally, I was just like, "No, don't bring any more drinks to the table." And. Um, but it was funny because it was never one person that was drinking the drinks. Like the oh, drink that was in front of me, I gave it to. And then people yeah. drink them as they came. Yeah. So like so if it was for me. Talk to the guy? No. Nobody ever talked no. to the guy. Oh, no. I you said you talked to some guy that was. No, no, no. So there's more than one person that's sending drinks. Yeah. Oh. So, but my thing so is. So other person that's sending drinks. Okay, so we know the creepy guy. Yeah. I've got the street types, the one that wants to kill you. So, what about the other... Okay, so the other guy who bought this drink, like, he came over to the table, like, when I first got there, and he was like, hey, I know you. And I was like, no. You don't. You don't know me. I was like, no, you don't know me. He was like, yes, I do. And I was like, no, you don't know me. And he was like, yeah, I know you. And I was like, okay, you don't know me. And so, like, he walked away, and then he came back, and he was like, I think that he knows it. He don't know me. He's seen me before. Like where? There. Where? Oh, where you were. Yeah. Oh. So, but it was just so weird. But he was like, very like, I know that you know me and I know you. So what does that mean though? I don't know. So what what was he saying? So I got to, what? Like, I don't know. So we have to. So I need to make sure that you know me. Like. And I'm gonna buy you a drink. So what's his name? I don't know. <laughs> so he, I he, told you I didn't know him. So he didn't. He never even introduced mm-hmm. himself. He said, "I know you." I know. I know you. And here's the thing. And I don't want to sound like I'm like a snotty girl, and I know I'm not the most beautiful girl in the world, but I have confidence. That kind of stuff, because he was a attractive looking man. That kind of stuff what certain women work. What stuff? Like him coming over saying that he knew me and you know, and then walking off and saying, I, I do know you and I'm like, you don't know me. Yeah, but that could be a I mean like well, people you, like you could, women well, like well, that well, kind of stuff. Well, I like that kind of stuff, but if they're attracted to the person already Well like I don't that, go out to be attracted to probably, anybody. Well that's because you're married. But we're well about? that don't mean to anything. Oh, okay, you're not looking, but yeah. But there are people that are looking. Yeah, and that's why I said it works on. I can see it working with certain women. Well, it's just a way. It's just his way in order to oh. create the conversation. Yeah, no, conversation. I don't want to talk to you. And then I like it's just I'm, a way to start the conversation. It's not. It's not like a. I mean, it's not that it works. It's just a way to be able to talk to. But somebody. I didn't want to talk and to. And if them. they're if they're attracted to you or you're attracted to them, it's a good way to start the conversation. But I didn't like it. Hey, have I seen you here before? Are you, you out here often? Yeah. Hey, where'd you get those pants? From your mama. Is that a bad one? <laughs> That's what I would say. I'm yeah. like, hey. I, I think that one day we I should like go out socks. and see if we can get numbers. Because I, like I don't think that you Yo, have any that. games. We tried that. <laughs> you remember how it worked? It didn't work at all. It was bad. Oh, my God. All my <sighs> game is gone. I took it. It's gone. <laughs> So anyway, um, superior loser, um, I just think that if you enjoy like the attention or anything from a guy and you want them to buy you drinks, then buy it. But I don't, I, nowadays, like the intention is not cool. So so you accepted the drinks at first. Are you, do you think that? I didn't accept them. They just put them at the table. I know, but uh, eventually you were able to stop it. So I'm saying, do you think you should have stopped it all the way at the beginning? Yeah, I should have. Yeah. So was the guy there the whole time you were there? Yes. And then when we got ready to go, Mm -hmm. like, he he stood up and we were, I was like, y'all, I was like, come on, everybody, let's go now because I, and you know, everybody had been drinking. So I'm like, y'all got to be. watching? Yes. Trying to catch somebody slipping? Yes. But I was outside. What was he going to do? Yeah, but you was outside, but it was like five or six other cars. I know, but I'm saying I was outside. If There's only so the file, okay, so yeah, we all went separate ways. Yeah, but if I saw him trying to follow, 
But how are you going to know that you didn't even know about the situation until now? <laughs> I'd have peeped it. If he came out, I'd seen the creepy dude. Yeah, you would have. I'd been like, what the heck is the matter with that dude? I've been watching him. Yeah. I've watched now, him I don't know anyway. if you would have because they was they was getting on your damn nerves. Oh, he would have he would have come out. <laughs> they was after. distracting yeah. you. Yeah, they distracted me. Yeah, they distracted me. So I don't know. I just I, like I don't know people's motives now. So you know, like back in the day, I think that like back in the day, for real, when I was younger mm -hmm. and I went out all the time, mm -hmm. guys bought me drinks all the time, and I accepted every last one of them. Mm -hmm. But now, I just well, that's because you didn't know better. The creeps were still out. Yeah, they were out, but I was you with my brothers know. and stuff too, so that was different. I was with my bros, and they weren't gonna let nothing or nobody touch a hair on my head. I mean, except one person. But we won't get into that. Except for you. Oh no, they couldn't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> I weasel my way in. They didn't even know it. <laughs> I was getting up in there. They didn't even know. They thought they were stopping everyone. Anyway, it's almost five. It's after five, so oh, you, this show is think over. You can take a nap. Well, I have to pick out my clothes. Exactly. And take a shower. And take a shower. And, and do my makeup. all the way there. Yes. So, losers, it has been fun. It's been fun. Keep and the emails coming in. Don't forget, I will be doing a all day recording on Christmas so that y'all can really see the real life of the. See, now they're all day the, recordings uh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Of the real life of NPJ's world on Christmas. Lil P will be here. Don't forget. And Karen Jordan probably has to work again. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Yeah, Sister does they worked work on, on Thanksgiving. I know, she, I know she And they will work on Christmas. Um, but it should be fun. We'll see how it goes. Yep. Yep. I sure will do another one before Christmas as well. Yeah, we need to we need to step them up, but we had some technical difficulties where I had to switch and I had to re We had to get a new computer and, and all, all that, that kind stuff. Of stuff and so but I do think that we're back now. Because we yeah, we'll both see, enjoy we'll this, we'll see that no matter how um, angry we make each other or I don't who makes me. Yeah, that was about to say. All right, I'm out.